Gobbalina is your host of the show Where he plays the very best to prank call audio He calls people up and tricks them a good one Till they get angry and threaten them with a shotgun He tells all the guys they need to shut up their missus He calls Circle Kill and makes them flip all the switches Carrot Top, Landlords, Tunnels, and Car Dings A brand new adventure every time that the phone rings It's fun to make people question their realities To turn the sound up and enjoy the calamity 6,000 miles from Central Argentina It's the world of prank calls with your host, Mr. Dabalina Mr. Bob Dabalina Mr. Dabalina, Mr. Bob Dabalina Thank you, HD Flat Beats, for that intro song. Hey, everybody, you're listening to Mr. Dobelina's Wonderful World of Prank Calls, and I'm your host, Mr. Dobelina. Today is March 31st, 2020, and today you're going to hear some prank calls. I think we might go with the trailer park theme in today's show because I'm going to start with this call I made to a trailer park that is kind of on the interstate and just a little bit away from this trailer park there was this giant restaurant that they tore down the restaurant was in the shape of an ark it was like noah's ark restaurant i don't know what it was called but it was something like that you know it was like a staple of that area everybody loved the ark and they were upset that it was getting torn down but just a little bit down the road was this trailer park this is a number that a listener sent to me they wanted me to prank call this guy that owns the trailer park and I try to convince this trailer park owner that I live there and I am turning my trailer into an ark. So here it is, the very first call of today's show. Hey, um, I, I'm, a, I'm one of the residents here. This is Roy. And Who is this? Roy, I needed to let you know I'm going to be turning my trailer into kind of a big ark type thing. Like, you know that restaurant they tore, they tore down? Yes. Uh, I'm going to be making a a, uh, a big arc type thing on top of my trailer. So the bottom part's going to be my living quarters, and then on the top part I'm going to work on an arc. You know, since we're right, right, we're right by the interstate, I, I figure I could bring in a lot of business that way. This is Roy. Who? Roy. Are you my tenant? Yeah, yeah, I'm one of the people here. I'm in the white trailer. Which one? What number? The the white one, but yeah, I'm I'm like I'm not gonna mess up the trailer. I'm just gonna build an arc on top of it. It's gonna be like really really tall, like that old restaurant. You remember that old restaurant that they tore no. down? No. Like a mile away, you don't remember the big restaurant shaped like an arc? You don't remember that? Yeah, you building that in your in my park? Yes, yes. I'm gonna build it right on top of my trailer. I've got it what all. What number you live in? It? What number you are living in? Thirteen. We don't have a lot. Thirteen. One thirteen. I don't know. Look, it doesn't matter. I'm in the white trailer. I'm. I'm just saying. I'm. But, uh, I think you are calling the wrong place. A mobile home, right by the interstate. I'm on drive. Yeah. What What lot you live in? It? Uh, I, it's the one here uh, near the back by the trees. But, like, I'm calling to find out, like, how are we going to work out parking spaces? Because we're probably going to have a lot of customers coming in. So, like, we have a small yard area here. I think it can accommodate maybe five cars. So you're talking about number 26 on top of the hill? Yeah, that's the... Amy's trailer? Yeah, yeah. I'm her boyfriend. Who, who are you? I'm her boyfriend, Roy. Okay, yeah, I don't know you. That's why I'm confused. Yeah. I never met you. What do you want to do? I'm going to build an arc on top of my... I'm going to turn my trailer basically into an arc. They're going to have to... What inter trailer? You don't own the trailer. What trailer are you talking about? Well, me and Amy, we, 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 move, we live together now, so we just kind of, you know, we, we're sharing, in, sharing the expenses. Okay. And I'm going to pull in my right. part of the income by building a restaurant. Building a restaurant? Yeah, I'm going to build a restaurant here on, in, the, in the trailer park. And we're going to have a lot of customers. It's going to be shaped like a giant arc. No, you are not doing nothing in my trailer park. Oh, yes, I am. Um, a Amy's, Amy's kicking out. I'm kicking her out. Oh, no, you can't kick Amy out. She's behind the fucking rent for six months. What, the, what are you talking about? No, it's cool. We're, we're going to take care of that. We're going to... You, you, like don't no, you're taking care of that first, and then we talk. Yeah, well, no, I'm just letting you know. I, we, we will take care of it. I promise we'll take care of the six months. We, but, I don't go by promise. we got to take care of it first. 
Yeah. Before we go any more farther. Yeah, don't worry about it. We, we've got it all taken care of. What, how, I am worried about it. How much is rent, by the way, for, for like monthly here? But with the including electricity, the way you guys do is over $650 a month. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. we're going to make up like yeah. more, more than enough for that when we open the restaurant. So we won't have this you're, problem you're anymore. You're not going to open the restaurant until I gather everything down. This is my property. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. It's just that, you know, we've, we've drawn up the blueprints. We've had the contractor come over and look at everything. He, he's made sure that there's plenty of supports and the ark isn't going to crush the trailer. No, 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 no. Everything's fine. Let me go back. I come back to the office this afternoon and then come over and we talk. Okay. Hey, would it be okay if we uh, lay down some asphalt on the ground for a parking lot? No. Cause we're no, gonna, nothing. We're going to have a lot of... Nothing until I talk to Amy. She's ignoring my call. She's ignoring me. You come to my office. Yeah, welcome, welcome to my world, to you know. First, and then we go from there. You pretty much just summed up mine and Amy's relationship. The what? You pretty much just, just summed up mine and Amy's relationship. You know, that never returns my calls. What kind of relationship? Me, me and Amy, she's my girlfriend. But, you know, we have really bad communication yeah. issues. Well, I come to the office this afternoon. You and Amy come over. Okay. We sit and talk. I've created, a, I've created some blueprints that you'll, you'll need to look over. And I, um, you know. Whatever I've, you got, just bring it over to the office. Yeah, I've got a mock-up. It shows talk. what it's going to look like. This arc is going to be bigger than the entire trailer park. It's going to be bigger than anything in the trailer park. It's going to be very tall, like 50 feet tall. It's a 50-foot tall yeah. arc that people can come and eat in. You come over to the office. With your idea, with Amy, and we go from there. Okay, okay? that sounds great. But, you know, we're going to do it no matter All what. Right. We don't need your permission. We're just going to do it. Oh, yeah, you didn't need my permission. You don't do shit without my permission. Oh, no. Permission, my no. Property. Who do you think you are? No, we, we, okay. we don't need your permission. This, 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 ain't no, this, this, this ain't no suburbs. This is a trailer park. We can do what we want. Just come to my office this afternoon, okay? Okay, but look, I, I've got a friend that has some leftover asphalt because he's an asphalter, and he's going to come over and lay down some asphalt today, just no, like a little bit. No. He's going to do. I'm going to have asphalt if you get near my property. He's going to do a little bit every day until we have enough for a big no. parking lot. I says no. You come to my office, we talk, and then we go from there. Okay. Well, can I confess something? I'm not really in eight. I'm not really in twenty six. I'm in 23. I'm in trailer 23. I, I have nothing to do with Amy. 23? Yeah. No, like three, three, do three doors down from Amy. I'm three doors down from Amy. I, I just, uh, I was just, I, I just what wanted to. What are you talking to, about? I'm, I'm not really Amy's boyfriend. That, that part, I was just, uh, th this is a sales tactic. I wanted to make sure, I wanted to feel this out, make sure you're okay with it. I'm actually. No, I'm not okay with nothing. I'm Amy's neighbor, and the ark it's gonna stretch over three trailers. It, we're gonna put trussles up, like you know that movie, um, the movie that's coming out, Ready Player One. You know how their trailers are all up on trussles. We're gonna. I'm not interested as to talk about those kind of things. Yeah. You have ideas to come to my office. We're gonna have a four-level trailer. We're gonna have four stories. Stop the bullshit, okay? <laughs> Hey, uh, I am a tenant here. I have a. Um, I just needed to let you know about something. Okay. There's going to be a bunch of um, ar archaeologists coming by. Uh, they want to take a look at this. Um, I've been digging a basement underneath my trailer, and I actually found some dinosaur bones. And they're going to be coming by to take a look at those. They're going to be roping off around my trailer. And um, they're supposed to be here today. Okay. And what trailer is this? 67. All right. And your name? Roy. Roy, can you hold on for one moment? Okay. Thank you. Hold on. And Roy? Yeah? Okay. Um, you said you said you were unit 67? Yep. Okay, and can you just
just tell me who the main tenant holder is in that unit? Um, probably Steve, I guess. I don't know. I just sublease. I've been staying on the couch, but I've also been digging uh, a basement area underneath the trailer because that's where I'm going to stay once it's all finished. It's going to be like a okay, living... Okay, but you do realize you can't build a basement on private property. Well, it's too late because it's done. It's just that I ran into some bones and I took pictures of them and sent them in and it turns out they are definitely dinosaur bones. So they want to come in and they're going to dig out further. They're going to come down into the basement and dig out like, you know, even further underneath the trailer next door and stuff. Okay, that's even great. Um, you can just let them know that if they do proceed with that, um, the on-site uh, employees will notify the police that they're trespassing and have them arrested. No, and they won't. if they want to further discuss it, they can call you right back at the 727 number. No, this, this is for a, it's a, it's a major find. It's a major dinosaur that's find. That's understandable, but they have, they, if that's true, then they know that if it's private property, they do still have to go through the owners of the property, in which I'm more than positive they haven't because the owners would have called us and let us know yeah, but we, that there will be people here. This is my place. And like, they're, they're coming into my house. And they, they go down the stairs into the basement. You know, it's, it's, you guys don't have anything All to do right, with well, it. Well, it's, it's not your unit, sweetie, because once again, there's no basements under the units. They're not allowed. Well, it's too late. Um, but I, I would be more than glad to discuss this with the actual tenant who holds this unit. Um, since I talk to him every single day. Um, oh, but I would oh. notify him and tell him also that that can't happen. Okay. Well, you don't need to be grouchy about it. I'm just letting you know that they're oh, going to be I'm not grouchy, but you have a wonderful day. Ma'am. Good afternoon. Thank you for calling. And this is Karen. Hey, Karen. Um, this is Roy. I'm a tenant here. Okay. Hi, Roy. Hi. What site are you in? Uh, 251. Okay, how can I help you today? Um, well, I set up a contract with Airbnb. So I'm going to be renting out a couple rooms in my trailer. Uh, just, it's just no, a no, 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 <laughs> no. It's just a nightly thing, that's all. Like, they just um, stay, they don't stay more than a day or two. That is totally against policy. No, it didn't say anything about Airbnb. It just said we couldn't um, have, you know, roommates and stuff without having them checked out. But this is Airbnb. Okay. I have a contract. It doesn't matter. I, I have. I had another resident that was doing that, really? and code enforcement came out, and is a, it's against code enforcement. How many people did he have staying in there? And it's against our policies. Uh, how many people did he have staying in there? I, it doesn't matter. It, no, it's, I, it's, it's, I, I'm just curious though. Like, how many people? Like, how many rooms was he renting out with Airbnb? Like the whole thing, or? No, not the whole thing. Just rooms at, at, a, at a you know random basis. Um, I had a contract with, B, you know, Airbnb as well. Yeah, that's how it works. No, but it's it's a, you can't do that here. It just says no subleasing, but Airbnb doesn't use leases. They it's just okay. an app on the phone. And what was your name again? Uh, my name is Roy. Okay, it's not again. And you're in two two fifty one. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Um. It's 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 no big deal. Need, it's, 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 but you can't you can't do it. it. It's it's not. We don't have backgrounds run on those people. It's it's against code enforcement. Well, it's too late. Like the number to code enforcement. I, I signed the contract well, with Airbnb. Well, I'm telling you, you can't do it. How about if I rock paper scissors code enforcement? How about if you what? R rock paper scissors code enforcement. Call code enforcement. I know I could They're do. They're going to tell you. I could do I can rock give paper. Them their number. Oh, I have their number. Okay. It's on my fridge. I always have it there, just in case. Just in case what? Just, you know, just whatever, like in things like this. Okay. Well, give me a call back, but I'm I'm telling you that it, you it's against our policy. You can't do it. Okay. Well, I know you how to, to grease. I, I know how to grease the palms over at code enforcement, so it's going to be fine. I know okay. people. Do I, you rent or do you own? Uh, yep, yep, I do. Yep, what? Yep, to both. I mean, I own, but then I rent it out through Airbnb. Okay. But it's not really renting. It's more like just an app on the phone. Right, but it, that is against our policy, and you can't do it. Well, before you said it was code enforcement. Now it's your policy? It is our policy, and it is code enforcement. Which is it? It's both. Well, if... You, you were using code enforcement before. I think all I have to do is beat code enforcement at their own game. Well, you can't beat code enforcement at their own game. No, I know people. I know how to grease palms. I know how to talk to people. 
Well, I'll just that's slip, great. I'll slip the guy I'm a 20. I'm glad you do. I'll slip but... him a 20, and things will be fine. <laughs> okay, this is really a joke, right? No, I wouldn't joke about this. I'm a Christian. Okay. Well, um, I guess I'll just have to send you something in writing. Okay, go ahead. But it's against, but it's against, you know, you can't do that here. I'll counter your thing in writing by printing out my Airbnb contract and sending it to you. Print it out. Bring it to me. I've seen them. I will. You, you, can't, you can't do it here. At Mr. Leahy said I could. Mr. Who? Leahy. He lives a couple houses down. He used to be a lawyer. Well, I wouldn't necessarily listen to whatever you said his name was. Mr. Leahy. Um, well, I, I'm telling you he's wrong. I don't know. He seemed pretty convincing. Okay. Well, obviously this conversation is not going to get us anywhere. Okay. Well, I'm, it's not, I'm just letting you know there's going to be people staying here. I put a new electronic lock on my door, so uh, you have to use the app to get in. Okay. Cause, cause, so I don't have to be here well, all the time when, that's when, not going to work. when strangers come in. I'm, I'm only renting out three units inside my trailer. Okay. Just three um, units, that's all. All right, what number can I get back with you at, Roy? Um, it's on caller ID. It's the 420-6969. All righty. Thank you so much. Did you see it on your caller ID? I'm looking now. Okay, yeah, you didn't really have to ask. Just look on your caller ID. It's right there. All right. You have a great day. Okay, well, you don't have to be such a jerk about it. You know, I was just calling to be nice I, and I let you know. I think you're the one that's being rather rude and arrogant, and I, I really don't appreciate it, nor, nor do I have time for it today. I wasn't arrogant until you started telling me I couldn't do things. Well, you're, you're not allowed to do that. Well, I will it be. Is You'll see. Our rules. Code enforcement's going to be on my side by the end of the day. I don't think so. Oh, I think so. You'll see. All right. Have I know a great people. Day. I know people at the city. Okay. I know the mayor personally. Uh, great. I have the mayor's cell phone <laughs> I'm so number. Glad. I have the mayor's cell phone number. I can call call anytime I want. Okay, that's wonderful. Uh, you know what? I'll I'll call the mayor and get you kicked out. If that's what you feel like you need to do, go ahead. Okay. If you give me okay. permission. All righty. Have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. Farms, this is Robin. Hey, Robin. This is Roy. I'm a tenant here. Hi. You're a what? I'm a tenant. I live here. Okay. I, I just needed to let you know. Um, I, I wanted to make sure you guys were okay with this. I'm going to be hanging up dead animal carcasses. Um, on the underside of my, like, the gutter area all around my trailer. For what? Uh, religious purposes. Mm, you can't do that. It's going to be, well, no, it's for religious purposes. It's fine. I just didn't want you guys to be concerned or anything. But I'm going to have, like, just dead raccoons. And where is this at? In the front, I'm going to have, like, a dead goat. No, but what, like, how, what goat. site number? Oh, uh, 139. I'll have somebody call you. Why? Because you can't do that. Why not? Thank you. Hold on one moment. Okay, why? Where are you going? This is Tammy. Can I help you? Hey, Tammy. I don't know why she transferred me. I was just letting her know about the uh, dead animal carcasses. Okay. It's just and for... where are those at? Uh, I've, I'm going to be hanging them uh, up all around my trailer on all sides. I'm doing like three on the front, three on the back, and like ten on each side. And what lot are you on? What lot? Um, twenty-one, twenty-two. What's she whispering? I hear whispering. That's 20, rude. We don't have a lot. Twenty-one, twenty-two. Oh, one thirty-nine. Okay, well, sir, you cannot hang dead animal carcasses. It's for on religious. It's religious purposes. You still can't do that. I can too. My my pastor, Pastor Kevin, says I can. Well, no, sir, you can't do that. Why not? Who says? Um. Because it's disturbing to the neighbors. Well, no, it's not. It's, it's, it's private property, it's just, and it's disturbing to the neighbors. It's my private property, and it, it's like uh, it's religious purposes. It's for my religion. <clears throat> okay, sir, you can't. We do not allow you to do that on our campground. Well, you're gonna have to, uh, you know, fight that out with God, I guess, because I'm doing it. I already started putting them up on the the backside, 
I'm going to start putting them up on the front side today. The side with okay, the door. Okay, sir, and, and what is your name? And I'm putting a goat carcass, like, by the front door. It, it's like to, it's like a, it's a ancient belief. It's about evil spirits and keeping them out and stuff. Okay, and sir, but we can't, you can't be hanging dead animals around on the campground. No, I already started. No, it's not around okay, the well, campground. Okay, just. Rem- re- you need to remove them. It's just on my trailer. I understand that, sir, but you can't have dead animals hanging around on our campground lot. Yeah, but it's my trailer. and you It know, might be your trailer, sir, but it's our property. You know we've had Bigfoot sightings here recently, right? Well, that's fine. Well, this will but keep Bigfoot out, too. Cannot, and you, you cannot be hanging dead animals around on our campground lot. Well, guess which uh, area of the park that Bigfoot won't attack if he sees all that. It's not going to be mine. Be okay, way on the sir, other side. It's going to kill those people. I understand that, sir, but you can't be uh, hanging dead animals around your your camper. It, it is 139. So, okay. Um, our manager is on his way to your lot. No, he's not invited. I'm not dressed. Okay, well, I don't, you I have don't, a good day. I don't have pants on. Tell him not to come. Okay, well, I'm telling you not to hang the animals around your camper. Well, I'm telling you God says it's okay. Maybe you're not okay, religious, sir. but I am. Uh, okay, and sir. Maybe you have a good day. You need to find Jesus. Okay, yes, 139. Okay, you have a good day, sir. Goodbye. I won't have a good day. Just listen to that lady rat me out in the background, sending her muscle over to rough me up just because she doesn't agree with my religion. So you're probably getting tired of listening to me do trailer park calls, so we're going to take a quick break from that and play a few commercials. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to play a call from... Dwight the Janitor's show. He does a show every Saturday night around 7 p.m. Pacific. He does that on prankcallnation.com, which you can find over at mixler.com slash prankcallnation. He likes to find people who have lost things or had things stolen from them, and people post ads about it on Craigslist. And then he's like, yeah, I'm the one that stole it. He does this all the time. It's always kind of fun and kind of mean but mostly kind of fun here's one that he did this past saturday where some lady or guy or whatever posted that their bike was stolen hello hey is that uh sheila yeah this is sheila hey sheila uh it's calling about the bike the missing bike yes sir yeah yes sir yeah i i know exactly where it's at no shit yes 100 percent guaranteed where uh, well, right now it's in my backyard. I've been letting my nine-year-old ride it. Uh huh. And so it's it's back there right now in the backyard. Are you serious? Yeah. Can we come get it? Well, no. I, I I'm gonna keep it. I just wanted to let you know that. I uh, no, it. you're not, sir. That bike is reported stolen. You will go to jail. For, for what? You w- for theft. It's not your property to keep. Are you kidding me? This is my boyfriend's bike that he lost fingers for, and you want to keep it? I mean, that's not a very good trade to cut off fingers for a bike. Okay, he lost his fingers, got a settlement, and got that bike. And you're going to keep it? Sir, you don't understand. If you don't return the bike, if you have it, Guess what? I will track your number, and I will send the police to your house. We will get the bike. It has been reported. I, I, I don't understand. If your son is on that bike, your son will be in trouble. I, I don't understand why you're yelling at me. I'd be will, will, willing to work out a because custody agreement. Because you're telling me you're keeping a bike that you can't keep. I'd be willing to work out a custody agreement where you could visit the bike whenever a you want. A custody agreement? You in the fuck off, bro? What? A custody agreement for a bike? What is wrong with you? If you want visitation, I, I would recommend you stop yelling at me, please. Visitation for my boyfriend's bike? You can take it for ice cream and stuff, but it has to come back by 7 o'clock. I'm calling the police and giving this number. Goodbye. Why? I am on the phone with the police department right now. Goodbye. Well, pff, well. Pff. There was a little bit of Dwight for you. He ended up calling her back at least once on his own. I think maybe a couple times, though. 
And then later, I was actually on his show with him, and he let me talk to that lady. I can't remember how that went, but you should go listen to his show if you want to hear some more of that lady and other people that he called that night. He usually does about three hours every Saturday night. And I will have a link to that show in the show notes if you want to go take a listen to the rest of it. There's some good stuff in there. I think we're going to finish up today's show with a couple more trailer park calls. Why not? It was fun for the first part of the show. Let's play some more trailer park calls. Good afternoon. This is... Can I help you? Hey there. Uh, I'm a tenant, and I needed to let you know that uh, Royco Construction, they're going to be here today to uh, raise our foundation up about four feet off the ground. So our, our Where are you located? Um, I'm here in the trailer park. I'm in uh, number uh, 41. I'm trying to pull you up here. Okay. What trailer park are you into? Uh, the, the one I'm calling on highway. And you live there at us? Yeah, I had to sublease. You sublease lot 41, you said? Correct. We don't have a 41. No, it's 3075. I thought you meant the, the serial number on the trailer. No, sir. I need to know what lot number, the address for the trailer. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, 3075. And what is your name, sir? Roy. Roy Cook. Uh-huh. You have the wrong trailer park, I believe, because we don't have 307. Why would you say Roy number. Cook? Why would you say Roy Cook? Well, you said Roy Cook Construction was coming there. Oh no, Roy Co. No, okay. I'm I'm not related to them. It's just a just a company. That's all. And what is your last name, Roy? Zerbel. Spell that. No, I refuse. <laughs> okay, so what are you calling me for, sir? I'm just letting you know I'm going to be raising my trailer up by about four feet. They're going to build the foundation. You're you're not going to do that. Not not at that park. Um, yes. We don't believe in putting foundations underneath trailers, and you're not going to raise a trailer four feet. Well, it's not so really what is a, your it's meaning not, for calling? It's not really a foundation. It's just going to be bricks, and we're going to raise it up. We're going to you know just put it around the bottom of the trailer. And Hold on, I'm going to let you talk to the head maintenance man, and you can get the okay from him. No, Hold I on. don't want to talk to him. He's an asshole. Hello. Hello. Who's this? This is Mike. How can I help you? Oh, hey, Mike. Um, I'm. I don't know why she wants me to talk to you. It's not like you have any authority. You're just the maintenance guy. Yeah. Well, what's going on? What do you need? I don't need anything. I was calling to let her know that the construction company is coming over today. They're going to raise the foundation of my trailer up four feet. Mm, what? What? Where you at? In Mont? Are you at? Yeah, I'm here. I don't need permission. I was just calling to let you know, so so you knew what was going on with the construction vehicles. What did you say your name was? Roy. Oh, we're at D1? Huh? What what lot number do you live in? I'm in D1. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's me. With Donna? Yep, me and Donna. Yeah. Yeah, I know going you. It. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I don't know if they'll do. It. I don't know if they'll do it for you. I don't, no. Oh no, I they're definitely so, they're definitely doing it for us. I hired them. It's Royco Construction. You've seen their commercials yeah, on I TV. I'll let you talk back with the manager. No, I don't really want to. I'm 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 not calling to ask permission. I I'm just. Uh... Okay, no, nope, that's not allowed. No, it's happening. It's they're already on the way. They're bringing over a, a load of cinder blocks, and they're gonna. They're going to build a foundation, and we're going to set the trailer on top of it and put stairs up to the door. Well, that's not allowed, so you're probably going to get in some trouble over that one. I don't think so. I, there's no rule about it. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you call the property owner? You want that phone number? Oh, yeah, that sounds fun. That would And ask for Christina. She will explain to you why you cannot do this. Oh, I'll explain to her why I can. Okay, you you can do that. I'm not arguing with you. I, I that's like your you choice to talk to her that way, but not me. One five eight six three two. One five eight six. Mm-hmm. 
You don't have to put How a one you? in it. it. It's it's 2018. We don't dial ones anymore when we dial long distance. Well, you're just a little smart tail, aren't you? Well, you are just a piece of work. Holy I'm cow, just, it is. I'm just saying. Area code 586 mm-hmm. three, two. Her name is Christina. She's the general manager. She will assist you in this, I'm sure. Okay, Miss Attitude. <laughs> you're great. Have a good day. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's call Christina. Management, how can I help you? Hi, is this Christina? No, this is Brooke. Oh, is Christina around? Um, I will look for you. May I ask who's calling? Uh, this is Mike from the mobile home park. Okay, hold on one second. Okay. Sir, she is on um, another call. Can I have her call you back? I guess so. Um, <laughs> or could you just let her know that um, we, we were uh, building up the foundation of one of the trailers here. Mm-hmm. Uh, we were putting up cinder blocks and raised the trailer about four feet into the air. Okay. Because the, the tenant, Donna, she, that's what she wanted. Okay. And the trailer accidentally fell over onto the trailer next door. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Uh, let me... Let me try and get her, okay? Hold oh, on okay, one sure. <laughs> <laughs> That'll get her on the phone. Thank you for calling. This is Christina. How may I help you? Oh, hey, Christina. This is Mike. I'm the maintenance guy over here. Mobile home uh, park. You're who? Uh, Mike. Mike who? Yeah, I'm the maintenance person here at... What? Mike who? Yeah, I'm I'm the I'm like the maintenance assistant. I'm not the Mike. The other Mike's the Mike Mike. I don't know who I'm, you are and I'm the general manager. So if you're telling me you work for me, what is your last name? Okay, I don't I'm I'm not like on I, my last name is who? It's A H U. It's Asian. Okay. I thought you knew cuz you kept saying who. No, are you are you do you live in yeah, yeah, I'm I'm not on the payroll per se. I, I'm mainly okay. work for uh, like bartering type stuff. But we were raising up one of the trailers, uh, Donna's trailer, D1. We were raising it up on cinder blocks, about four feet in the air, because mm-hmm. she wanted to wanted to be higher up, and we were going to put a deck and stairs. You can't just raise a home up. Well, we know that now because the trailer fell off of the cinder blocks and landed on the trailer next door. You're joking, right? No. <laughs> No. You're not joking? <laughs> Hello? No, no, I'm not. I'm not. It's just... It, 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 this is not funny. Are you there now? Y- yeah, I'm here. Just the way All right, you, you hold on one second, okay? All right. What lot is Donna? D1. I'm sorry? D? D, like W? One. Uh-huh. Why is this funny? Just just the way you were asking. I'm sorry, I'm a little high right now. This is a joke. But you are absolutely joking, right? No, I wouldn't joke about something like this. You wouldn't joke, but you're going to tell me that you're high and that's why you're acting like that way? Hold on, okay? Hold on. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help it, you guys. D1, right? Yep, that's it. Donna. Uh, okay, hold on. Why? What are you doing? You know she's on the phone at the trailer park now, making sure that this isn't real. Hello? Hello? Hey, Christina. What, what's happening? Like, why do I keep getting put on hold? Been on hold forever. <laughs> Just... You know, I, we'll set someone to check it out, okay? Okay, well, I'm, I'm just, you know, you don't have to have an attitude with me about it. I was just letting you know. I was just. Uh huh. So, what's your phone number? Uh, it's on your caller ID. Just look on your caller ID. I don't ID. have caller ID. What's Why your not? Phone it's 2018. Hey, everyone should have caller ID at this point. I mean, caller ID's been around for like 30 years or something. You don't have caller ID? You're very disrespectful. Well, just call Mike. My, Mike knows how to reach me. Call the other Mike. You know, Mike number one, we call him. I hope you have a very great, wonderful day. Well, it's not and that when wonderful. And you want to play a prank on somebody, 
don't let it be me again. Well, okay? I, I, it's not a Have prank. Have a great day. It's not a good day because the <laughs> trailer fell. Hi. Hey there. I'm a resident here, um, and I need to let you know about something. Pardon me? I'm a resident. I live here. Okay. And uh, I moved my trailer last night. You you did what? I moved my trailer. I live on the other side of the park now. What? Uh, you moved your mobile home? Yeah, I moved the whole thing. You uh, can't do that. Oh, but I what had... Lot am I, I had what no- am I talking to? Who am I talking to? I had to? noisy neighbors. They were being so noisy. So I just... Pardon me. Just a minute. Just oh, a minute. All right. Okay, now, you moved from your mobile home from one side to the other? Yep, yep. I live on the other side now. Like, like, well, and it seems a lot quieter. You could do that. Uh, nobody, but the neighbors were being so noisy. They had their music up. Hey, who and, am I speaking to? Uh, my name's Ken. And what's your lot number? Well, it was forty-three. But I don't know. What, what, I don't know what it is now, because like I, I'm not really well, in, in a lot. I just you, can't, you cannot move from one lot to another without permission. I'm basically in someone's backyard right now. I'm by the trees. You what? I, I basically live in someone's back. back Why don't you? Are back. you in the park now? Yeah, but I'm busy. I'm. Did you please come up to the office so we can get this straight. Oh well, maybe maybe tomorrow. Like I'm I'm setting up. No, camp. today. Well, no, I'm I'm setting things up. Uh, I like it back here better. It's shadier. Uh, like I didn't have. What a, lot? Oh, wait a minute. What lot did you move to? Uh, well, I don't know, cause I'm I'm like in the back of a few lots, and I don't know what their lot numbers are. Uh, so, okay, you moved from one thirty-three. Yep. Are you there? Are you there now? Yeah. Well, no. I'm in. Okay, I'm in my I'll, new place. I'll be right there. Well, no. I'm okay. in my. I'm in my new place. I'm in someone's backyard. Well, I need to see what you're talking about. Okay. Well, maybe tomorrow because I'm watching TV no, right now. No, today. I'm watching TV right now. You what? I'm watching TV right now. Can I do That's- it? To- Tough shit. You cannot Whoa. move from one lot to another. Well, my neighbors were noisy. The neighbors are what? The neighbors were so noisy last night. They were being so noisy and disrespectful, so we just packed it up and moved it across okay, the park. just a minute. All right. Hello. Hello. Uh, this is Steve Dave from the city planning department here in... Okay. And what can I, I do for you? I just needed to let you know there's uh, another trailer park. They're going to be um, building a trailer park directly below your trailer park. And it's just wow. been, been approved, and it's going to start construction this summer. Okay. And what just, do you mean below us? What, what are you talking? Like, basically underground. It's going to be an underground trailer park, and it's going to be directly below your property. An underground trailer park below our property? Yeah, it's a new thing we're doing. We're doubling up on property taxes by, uh, you know, your your property line only extends so far underground, so they're going to be okay. going below that property line and building their own trailer park. It's going to be the exact same size as yours. It's just going to be directly below yours. Wow, I've never heard of that before. That's something unique, I guess. I've yeah, never yeah. heard of that. Yep. So I'm, Well, I'm just... I need to let my company know. I'm just the manager here. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll have to let my bosses know. Now, all right, hold on just a second. Let me, if I can, get your number. Sure. In case he has any questions or whatnot, if that's okay. Yeah, no problem. It's 810-420-6969. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, and any extension or anything? No, no, it's just a direct line. They are going to put some skylights oh. uh, at random places around your trailer park. Like just to let some of the sunlight in, because if okay. there's if there's no sunlight, it's kind of like a health issue. Skylights. Yes. Wow. Skylights underground. In the, yeah, skylights in in the ground. They'll be above ground for you, but skylights uh, you'll be able to like walk on top of them, and you can look down into the trailer park. It's below your trailer park. Wow, I've, that's just amazing. I've never heard anything like that before in my life. Yeah, it's only going to take them two years to construct the whole thing. They just got to move out two all years. the dirt. They're going to be starting this summer, this uh, June. In June? Yep. Okay, I'll definitely have to talk to the boss and let him know. Okay, now is this a direct line to you? Yeah, yep. It's the it's the planning okay. department, so if I'm not here, someone else will pick up. Planning department in, in your name? Uh, my name is Steve Dave. Steve, I'm sorry, it was cutting in and out. Oh, Steve Dave. Steve Dave's. Yep. 
Okay, I'll, I'll talk to him and let him know. Okay, well, thank you very much. Okay, you may have to move your entrance too, like the entrance where people come in. Cause okay, gonna, well, yeah, gonna... okay. Well, I, my boss is definitely going to have to talk to you, so I'll, I'll give him the information now. He'll probably be giving you a call tomorrow. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. The entrance is going to be like like normally it'll work as your entrance, but sometimes there'll be there'll be like a hydraulic door that that moves up, so people that live below your trailer park can get in. It'll be like that staircase, wow. the staircase in the Munsters. Really? Mm-hmm. I've just never heard of this before in my life. Wow, this is kind of getting technical on us. Okay. Yeah, it's a well, new I'll thing. I'll definitely give them the information, and I'll, I'll have them give you a call, okay? Because I'm sure you guys are going to have to get some things worked out or whatnot. Yeah, probably. Okay. All okay, right. well, thanks a lot for the call. No problem. Have a nice day. Okay, you too. Bye-bye now. Goodbye. I love how that guy just kind of believed everything he heard and was so amazed with it all. It's pretty crazy the things that you can convince people of if you say you're somebody official. So this show has been going on long enough, I think, so we're going to put it into it. Looks like we're at around 40 minutes right now. Thank you, everybody, for listening. And be sure to subscribe to us. The best way to do that is through a podcast app. Search your podcast app for World of Prank Calls. You should be able to find us. We're on Spotify and iTunes and just, you know, all the things. I would really appreciate that. Also, if you could go to iTunes and leave some reviews, I hear that helps us out. Or, you know, any other place that you can review us, leave a nice review. Or whatever kind of review that you think is fair. You can also find our shows on worldofprankcalls.com along with all kinds of other stuff on that site. And hopefully you're aware that I do other shows besides this one. I have one called The Snowplow Show. It is mostly prank calls and mostly brand new ones. You know, in this show, you hear a little bit of current stuff, a little bit of stuff from a few years ago. The dates are just kind of all over the place. But Snowplow Show is brand new calls two times a week, usually. You can find that at snowplowshow.com. Also, be sure to support this show and all of my other shows by going to patreon.com slash phonelosers or phonelosers.com slash support. If you pledge five bucks on the Patreon, you get an extra show every single week. So just think, you could have three entire shows of prank calls every week if you really wanted it. Thank you, Dwight, for letting us use one of your prank calls on today's show. Speaking of Dwight, there's an interview with him in the latest World of Prank Calls zine where he talks about how he got his start, what his setup's like, all kinds of fun things like that. You can go read that at worldofprankcalls.com slash zine. There's some really hard-hitting journalism in that thing. I'm ending today's show with a song called Sublevel Rhapsody. I'm sure I've played it on this show before, but come on, we're talking about trailers and stuff. I have to play this song. It's required. This is Redbox and the Chili Peppers with Sublevel Rhapsody. You have no right to do what you're doing. You're totally out of line.